Number seven. Draw the projections of a pentagonal pyramid, 30 mm side and axis 60 mm long. When it is resting on one of its base edges with part A, the axis making 30 degree with HP and top view of the axis making 45 degree with the VP. Part B, axis making an angle of 30 degree with HP and 45 degree with the VP. So this problem has two parts. The part A will be we will be doing. The difference between part A and part B is that in part B, inclination made by the axis with HP and VP are given. That is, it's a similar to a case where line is inclined to both HP and VP. In part A is also line is inclined to both HP and VP, but theta is given and beta is given. The angle made by the top view of the axis with the VP, uh, with XY line is given. Angle made by the top view of the axis with the XY line is given. That is beta is equal to 45 degree. So there is directly we can draw this angle. In the part B, this is phi only. So beta has to be found out. That's the difference. So in this case, Pentagonal pyramid is resting on its base edges. So, in the first top view, base edge having 30 mm, AB is drawn perpendicular to XY line because that edge is perpendicular to VP. You complete the top view and project from the top view and obtain the front view. The altitude is 60 mm. Now, same figure size and shape of the figure does not change only the orientation changes it is just tilted the base is just tilted so that this axis makes an angle 30 degree with hp for that one we will choose any point here that is b1 dash a1 dash and we will draw the base first we will draw the base at an angle 60 degree here this 60 degree is not mentioned here when we choose the base at an angle 60 degree automatically the axis will become the required angle that is 30 degree because total angle in this triangle will be 90 degree this is 30 degree this is 60 degree and this, this is 90 degree we get the axis at required angle and also base edge on x y line so we have drawn this one so you can choose this is equal to 60 mm altitude redraw this figure and project to top view side project from the previous top view towards right to get all those points and you know checking for visibility that is uh, this one bo if you want to check the visibility of bo bo if you look from the top bo is at the bottom away from the observer so ba will be dotted similarly ao ao also will be dotted then naturally connecting the inside connecting the two dotted lines will be ab ab is also at the bottom so that is dotted then a is dotted b is dotted so now next is axis makes an angle 45 degree with the xy line because Top view in part A, top view of the axis makes an angle 45 degree is given. So from this point to approximately this is this is the center. So from that, if you draw a line, this will be the one end point of the axis at the bottom face, and this is the apex. So this will be the apex axis. So axis will be part of D D1 no one. So that DO line can be drawn at an angle 45 degree. So same figure you can redraw because A1 B1 length of A1 B1 is equal to A2 B2 all orientation same you redraw only the thing is that O2 D2 has to be at an angle 45 degree with XY line. Now project from all these six points to get the uh, corresponding front view and uh, there also you will have to check for this 
visibility the edges which are nearer to the observer will appear thick in the corresponding front view the edges which are away from the observer will be dotted that you can check if any small mistake is there please kindly here in identifying these are dotted edges some mistakes are there at this point of time i cannot correct it because the CEO is nearer to the observer so it will be visible so this dotted line has to be thick and this dotted line has to be thick and D, D is away from the observer so that has to be dotted so sorry for the inconvenience